Glasgow City Council's Pollinator Parks are dedicated to the conservation and development of pollinator habitat for current and future generations. Projects and interventions within the park will promote awareness and understanding of the role of pollinators in achieving local and global environmental sustainability and showcase pollinator projects that are a model for citizens and communities in Glasgow and beyond. Rock Hill Park is situated in the north of Glasgow. It's approximately 53 acres in size and provides a recreational space for local residents, dog walkers, joggers, orienteering enthusiasts, as well as people who just like to visit and take in the stunning views that can be had from the park's many vantage points. The flagpole is the highest point in Glasgow. The recent COVID-19 pandemic has emphasised the importance of our parks and open space and the key role such locations play in our physical and mental well-being. By reimagining and creating a focal point for parks such as Rock Hill, we can encourage residents to spend more time in the outdoors. The opportunity to provide people with a place to walk, cycle, play or simply sit and enjoy the experience of nature buzzing around them in the heart of the city cannot be underestimated. The following is the rationale for designating Rock Hill Park as a pollinator park. In support of not only the variety of butterflies and other invertebrate species to be found there, but also to provide the community with the knowledge that it is a special place. In a time when Glasgow has declared both climate and ecological emergencies, Rock Hill Park offers a template of how subtle changes can bring about major benefits for people and wildlife in the city's parks and larger open spaces. These changes further illustrate how parks and open spaces can support and bring to an urban situation the resilience and vibrancy much needed to support people and wildlife and mitigate against the noted climate change and how a city like Glasgow can manage the resulting changes in weather patterns of unprecedented rainfall. This also aligns with the Scottish Government's Pollinator Strategy for Scotland 2017 through 2027, which sets out how Scotland can continue to be a place where pollinators thrive, along with actions that are needed to help achieve that objective. Some of the most significant changes that the park user sees and experiences are based around these grassed areas. Once the floral diversity was identified, positive changes were instigated. It was at this point that a new grass maintenance plan was put into place on certain areas to ascertain how truly rich they were. It's only when you allow the wildflowers growing amongst the mown grass to flower by simply not mowing it that you can appreciate the numbers of butterflies, bees and other pollinator species that the park is home to. It should be noted that, at the same time as these changes were being introduced, Glasgow City Council Neighbourhood and Sustainability instigated its proposal to create within Rock Hill Park a floristic explosion of spring colour by an annual planting of daffodils and other spring flowering bulbs. These plantings have so far seen approximately 2 million bulbs planted, and this is programmed to continue. This planting of daffodils has been diversified by the introduction of other species, increasing interest, lengthening the flower season, and also introducing species that are beneficial to early pollinating insects. Where these mass plantings of daffodils have occurred so far, they can be seen as the spring herald to the colour of summer meadows that grow up around them as their spring colour fades for another year. It is these developments, the instigated maintenance changes and natural features that have and continue to support the adopted Local Biodiversity Action Plan and the Pollinator Plan. And there are additional opportunities within Rock Hill Park to further enhance biodiversity by aligning them to the actions within the LBAP and this will further illustrate what can be achieved with the most subtle of interventions. It's important that people are put at the centre of evolution of the park. And one way this has been done is by the creation of partnerships and collective projects that introduce them to nature. There have been changes in elements of the park, but the footpaths and the green spaces have been ever-present. And it's in these spaces that some of the most subtle changes have occurred. It was some ten years ago that a series of small, sustainable urban drainage ponds SUDs were created in anticipation of the construction of Benview Campus Combined Primary Schools. 
And it's these ponds that saw some of the first moves in actively encouraging wildlife, which in turn increased the biodiversity of the park. This increase in wildlife diversity has been further encouraged, and supported, by allowing the small woodland area to become more natural, in that footpaths have blended into the woodland, dead and decaying wood is left, ground flora and essential understory shrubbery is allowed to grow, offering cover and nesting for small bird species. The edge habitat to the woodland has again been managed sympathetically and, in places, has been supplemented with additional shrubs, increasing the floral and seasonal diversity. The shrubs offer cover and food for birds and insects and yet bring flowers, fruit and seasonal foliage colour for park users to enjoy. In autumn 2019, Glasgow City Council Neighbourhood and Sustainability welcomed Butterfly Conservation Scotland into Rockhill Park as one of three locations in the city that they would be focusing their lottery-funded Helping Hands for Butterflies project. The project's three-year plan is to expand on the learning and education opportunities, the creation and management of butterfly and moth habitats, along with monitoring and recording to see how populations can benefit from changes in park management. If there's a healthy and diverse population of these insects, then this directly leads to a healthy and diverse population of bird species that feed upon caterpillars.